Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap up, and everybody is here just in time. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here on Happy President's Day, where we pay homage to the only president we care about, WWF President Jack Tunney. Uh, but anyways, the crew with us tonight, we uh, have some. Uh, uh, Mad Mike was on assignment tonight, and very, very vocal about uh, how that worked out. Uh, so there's. Um, we, we so we have uh, first of all uh, Diamond Dave Potter with us on the line of the Tiny Shutter Podcast. How you doing, sir? Uh, doing good, Sorg. And you know, I don't know what's more torture: having to ha- having Mike watch Raw on <laughs> a bad night, or seeing his reaction on Twitter as everyone's posting everything going on and him just twisting in the wind as he's going crazy. <laughs> Either way, it is amazing to watch, <laughs> right? It is such a a, a, a curious like like we're like okay, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. But anyways, <laughs> also with us, he is your friend from Riz plays games, and right now Riz watches wrestling and Riz podcasts with us and Facebook lives with us. It is the Riz. Riz is very tired. Riz is very tired. But aren't you glad you stayed up now? I am. Good. I really am good it was worthwhile it'll make it make it worth oh you look so sleepy we're going to keep you we're, <laughs> we're going to keep us with you um <laughs> uh so anyways yes yeah, so it is it is the raw it is the wrap up and uh, and usually this is our way to kind of get around raw but i i kind of want to say you know say what is your awesome thing of the week the weekend kind of it's, it's pre- the wrong show sorry it's the wrong show no no it's no. the wrong show you've not listened to wrap up in a while this is what we've been doing lately <laughs> um but uh yeah what is kind of your awesome in wrestling maybe something you've seen online or if you went to a show this weekend um uh you know in general do you do you guys have one well honestly the fact of and i'll call him by the way he's going now uh how much of a badass pock is Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. That was that was amazing. We, I mean, oh. so explain what happened. I saw the picture on on the group. What happened to Pac, uh, formerly Neville in WWE, of course. From what I understand, he was. It was in a match him and Walter, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it wasn't anything Walter did. Mm-hmm. Pac did a move. I, I think a jumping off the rope move onto somebody onto him. And when he the way he rolled, his finger went from this to like his middle finger is like that thing now. No. It yeah. is kind of like dislocated and pushed over early in the match. He reload he he puts it back in the socket, wrestles for 15 more minutes. Jeez. And it went out again during the match again. He just kind of, you know, oh, put it back into place. Yeah, no big yeah. deal. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. That's that's oh. Fuck, man, <laughs> man, Hangman Page is just like just <laughs> questioning everything in his life after that one. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Riz, was there anything that that kind of popped up for you? I know you did attend some wrestling this weekend. I did. It has nothing to do with that. Okay. I mean, I mean, we we did see Glacier. We did see man. Glacier. That was an experience. That was I mean, that was great. Cool. It was it was yeah, cool. <laughs> Ah, I was sad because I don't know if if you I don't think you I don't know if you were early enough to see, but there was actually supposed to be like a snow effect when he came in. Yeah, I saw I saw the snow effect, and it I, didn't go off for his entrance. And I I'm know. like, where is it? I'm like already. I'm like, I'm not in the splash zone. We're good to go here, and and there was no snow effect. I, I yeah, was, I was so kind of sad about that. Oh, the visual was going to be amazing. Like everybody, like I saw Glacier give the thumbs up because he saw what's happening. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to see this. And it didn't happen. Yeah. But, but no, Sword, my uh, thing of the week uh, actually just happened today. Okay. Today. Actually, tonight. It was a little bit ago, actually. 
Uh, so Ricochet is going to evolve. Okay. To have like a, a, a special attraction. So there was a poll to find out who his opponent is. Uh, and the, the, the fans decide. Hmm. The choices were Shane Strickland, who, who Ricochet versus Shane Strickland. Of course, it's going to be high flying, very interesting, very high paced match. Uh, or AR Fox, another high, fast paced match. Mm-hmm. Or Orange Cassidy. Ooh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Orange Cassidy won with 61% of the vote. Amazing. Uh, so at Evolve 123, it's going to be Ricochet versus Orange Cassidy. I, I kind of want to see what happens. I kind of want to go. It's in Mel- Melrose, Massachusetts. Sorg, we're going. Mount Rose. <laughs> so we're driving that. No, I've been to Massachusetts before, and I do not look forward to that road trip again. That's for sure. Hell, Long Island was a long trek for me last weekend. So, <laughs> geez. Um, I was excited because I only had one wrestling show to <coughs> be involved in this in, in, in one state uh, this, this yeah. weekend. So that was kind of nice. Um, by the were, way. You were kind of feeling it this weekend though oh, a little bit a little bit uh yeah, like it was like a delayed reaction from last weekend in two weeks i get to do the same thing we do uh, uh a pri- pretty much a three-day stand uh of shows for four shows um so that's going to be a lot of fun uh coming back to dayton there uh, at the beginning of march uh for rockstar pro but anyways um, but, um, uh, you know, my, my kind of awesome thing, awesome thing, the, my favorite, th- well, the favorite thing in wrestling of the week, we're still trying to figure out what the segment is called, uh, Riz. So, so excuse me okay, good, for good. that. Um, but I, I think, I think the cool <coughs> thing, I, my expectations for the announced match, Chris LaRusso and Britt Baker is going to happen next month at IWC. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be a qualifier for the super indie tournament. I'm very excited at the prospect of, and of course, we've been having a lot of discussion around here about uh, uh, intergender wrestling and everything. And, uh, of course, Britt being signed with uh, uh, AEW, we're not going to get into discussion on whether you think uh, All Elite Wrestling is a real thing. That's for the other show. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so, uh, but, um, but no, she's going to be coming back for that qualifier match and that potential that we could have an intergender super indie tournament uh, for IWC coming up here in June. Uh, is is an interesting prospect, but can we also please get Jordan Grace? Can, <laughs> you know, oh. Please, um, you oh. know, and mm-hmm. and of course, there's a lot of uh, great girls in the area between uh, Katie Arquette and Jinx and London and Ali that I think would be uh, uh, good for that too. So no, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, uh, we have <laughs> you guys are putting your 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 favorite things of the week uh, as well. Uh, Brandon says the Young Bucks saving everyone in different promotions is his awesome thing <laughs> of the week. Well, technically, technically, it's not everyone. Is just Joey Ryan. Just Joey Ryan. Did that? Is that the one? Is that the video? The gift <coughs> video I keep seeing about involving a lightsaber and his penis. Oh no, no, that's a different. That's a whole okay. different thing. Yeah. Okay, that was. Uh, I saw a lot of that. If, yeah. if you watched uh, Being the Elite, you should know what's going on. Uh, I think it just up. came out today. I think it I, just yeah. came out today. I'm barely getting mainline WWE in the can uh, lately, so. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, Cars' uh, awesome favorite wrestling thing is uh, the care package he got from a former Chikara Grand Champion, Hal Wicked. Mm. Uh, he bought a shirt, got some stickers, and a button, too. All glory, Nas Maldun. I, I cannot... All keep... glory, Nas Maldun. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, our uh, Chikara catch-up. Uh, Tina says, uh, China being inducted, not a sole induction, but she'll take it. I think it's not bad. That's not <coughs> bad. I... Mm. I'll be okay. Well, I'll be okay. There's lots of okay. the, lots of different praisings going on in the chat room right now. So it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a. Oh, sorry. There's a. There's a BTE uh, being the elite. Uh, uh, where there features a bit where Kenny expresses the fans' concerns about AEW. I need to check that out. Yes. And, and I did not. In, that was I, very meta too. Is it? it was like, it was very meta. It, it was a little bit of like like the the the. It's not a real promotion until it's a TV deal. Da 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 da. da. We don't think this. It is called for real. it called it. They, they he called it a t-shirt company. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, 
wherever you make your bucks. So you make a, you sell enough T-shirts, you get a TV deal, right? Is that how it works? Uh, right. I've been doing this wrong the whole time, apparently. So, oh, something. Oh, cool. did you hear that? The ghost. It's the ghost. What the hell fell over? I must say that wasn't over here. Like I felt it, but I didn't see anything happen. And I want okay. I, I tweeted last. I tweeted last night a security cam of some strange activities in here. So. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't know, Christian Noir left something behind. But anyways, uh, tonight was Raw, or as we call Monday Night NXT. Um, so <laughs> I want to see. Front of, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. N NXT in front of the deadest crowd. In front of an empty arena. Oh, an empty arena would have been better. Yeah. Is, is, is it, I mean, does this lead credence to the idea that no, like, quote, unquote, other than us wrestling fans on the internet, nobody knows who these guys are. I'm using quotation marks if you're listening on the audio version. I mean, if it would have been in Florida, mm -hmm. Easy. they would have known. Yep. East Coast would have known. Chicago. No, Chicago, yeah. Cleveland. Oh, cat fight, cat anyway. fight. Uh-huh. Oh. The cat, <laughs> the cat's gone wild over a partner's place. <laughs> but it's like, I, I, they don't even like to acknowledge that they're not in a major city half the time. Yeah. Let alone pull something this big mm -hmm. where it's kind of like, everyone's like, Oh, and we have two of the hottest stars. We have like four of the hottest stars. And everyone's like, who are, yeah, who are the, where, where are these? Huh? Yeah, where's Finn? There was huh? good, but there were good matches. It was a good, oh, it was yeah. a good night. Matches. It was a good show. Yes. And the crowds, the crowd sucked. I yeah. mean, if we're going to be mad about one thing, it's going to be the crowd. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think you got to see a lot. I mean, how could you not? I mean, I think pe people kind of started oh. up a little bit of ricochet and things like that. Um, I, I did not pay much attention to the crowd, so I'm going off you guys because I mean, I don't put it up too high uh, while while I'm uh, you know, yeah. Even people. if you put it up too high, it will be the exact same sound. Oh, no, is it up really <laughs> low? Um, Tina's supposing that maybe they turned down the audio like last night. Last night also wasn't too crazy of a crowd. For all the mm -hmm. amazing things happening yeah. in that ring, so and, and I don't know for us, you know, we, we we were watching in a group here in the studio. So to us, the crowd doesn't matter because we're making noise and reaction to what's going on. So you know, I I think that I, that that changes the experience maybe for a little bit because I thought last night was an amazing night of uh, of WWE mm -hmm. uh, show. I thought tonight was a pr uh, was a really good night of WWE show. Um, I can see the headline now. Angstein canceled after lackluster raw reception. I, you know, I feel, you know, it kind of feels like that, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's an interesting decision to basically make an NXT takeover episode tonight because it was the majority. I mean, it was you know, three major matches, um, mm -hmm. uh, multi-segment matches uh, that were great, and uh, and I think for the put for put everybody like all the NXT guys won tonight. So it wasn't even like, hey, yeah. here's these startup kids, and we're just gonna, you know, roll over them. Um, but it was, it was like, hey, go check this out. You know, a, a sampler of like, hey, this is happening over on the network, and check out the takeover. And and they did a lot more. This is what got me a little bit. They got they did a lot more promotion mm -hmm. with them actually wrestling on Raw, right? Than. The vignettes of like Nikki Cross or EC3, yeah, or that they did or, nothing with. Yeah, they did nothing with, and I didn't even see EC3 or Nikki Cross. No, there's a lot on, of people interestingly absent. Was was it, were were people stuck in a snowstorm or something? Um, Heavy Machinery and Lacey Evans of all people had the weirdest like we're going to interview Heavy Machinery who are not known for their promos, and then Lacey Evans is just kind of, like, like okay. Elimination Chamber last night. Lacey Evans comes out. I'm like, oh, are we getting a Lacey Evans match? And then, then we just fade to a commercial. What are we doing? What is happening? Did anybody uh, else just yet what the she, fuck when it happened? Yeah, oh yeah. Is she supposed to be Eva Marie? I was I was thinking the same thing. It's <laughs> Eva Marie 2.0. Oh no. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. We're... Yes. Oh. Yes. A a and the um and heavy machinery with the callback to the bushwhackers. Well, they, 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 that's been their thing, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I don't know if somebody just, just lean into Bushwhackers, right? I, I, if Bushwhacker Luke doesn't show up here in the next couple months just for, like, on a throwback Raw or something, 
uh, just to hang with those guys uh, and, and oogle uh, 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 Alexa Bliss or something, right? I, I, I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that was probably like the, the lowest point of the night and not terribly unentertaining, uh, maybe not for the right reasons. Um, well, well, let me ask you guys, because I half missed – because I'm not used to Raw ending at 11 o'clock, boom. Yeah, no, they're big Still. on it. Um, that jump by Ronda from the top rope did not look <gasps> no, that good. No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. So and good. I don't think she's done a whole lot of that, um, especially. No. Yet. So uh, I, I was worried about that. Like, I think I kind of said out loud, and now injured for WrestleMania. <laughs> so, oh. you know, oh. in, in my head, uh, 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 looking at that. But, uh, you know, and also that we, you know, had a better match with her and, uh, 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 Ruby Riot tonight than I think we did last night for sure. But then again, oh, last yeah. night was not about that match. Yeah, no, last night was about Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair and mm. everybody except for Ruby Riot. That big moment. Although yeah. I really wanted Becky to come out at the end of the show too. But again, they can't just keep doing that for the next like you know six, seven weeks. Maybe we have seven. Now? I think it's seven. Seven. Yeah, because yeah, we have three weeks to the next pay per view. Yep, which is yeah. in Cleveland. Remember when, remember when uh, Elimination Chamber was the last pay per view before WrestleMania? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember when Royal Rumble was the last pay per view? Okay, that was like fifteen years. That ago. That was like yeah, years that was a while ago. Uh, that was like when it was still on like squiggly line TV. Well, Alex is talking about how he still remembers the first week they stopped the over on the, the way they kind of rushed the ending. And they, they did last week, too, when uh, Vince came out yeah. with Charlotte, I felt, too. Like, they haven't been, you know, and I don't know what the change was. Is it a USA thing? Is it because of the ratings? Um, because this is something they've been doing for 20 years. Uh, well, and, 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 and Raw, I don't know if Raw is just like, uh, you know, always up to be loose on things, you know, where a SmackDown has been like a nice fine tuned machine doing it this whole time with a different you know enough of a different production crew i suppose but uh no and alice is also pointing out that uh and to think around christmas of 2017 they actually put nxt on usa network during wwe week too so mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know but um it, I, it was a it was definitely like one of the better raws even you know just mm-hmm. judging by mad mike's reactions and please have fun with that where <laughs> We'll look back on our at Mayhem Show feed on Twitter where uh, we, he's realizing what's going on. We're like, oh, yeah, man, Ricochet's here. Yeah. And, uh, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, man, uh, DIY just beat Revival on Raw. Uh, yeah. not, a non-title, by the way. Uh, and I love that I love that they did the call back to those guys, you know, having having takeover matches before and never beat the Revival. And now here they are finally getting one over the revival when it doesn't <laughs> matter as much except it kind of does because they're on raw and these guys have the tag titles so did, I, did anybody else want them to do like a the angle like just have an angle have like fight hmm? afterwards like what they did at, at the end of takeover just have the uh, gargano and champa start a fight there mm. with each other no, mm, but it, it no. was a revival match, I think, where or maybe it was AOP, where they uh, that where they, that first happened with them. Um, I want to point something out too, and and maybe I'm just kind of reading into this more. Uh, but Fastlane is in Cleveland, you guys, and we did just have those two beat the revival for the tag championships, which could lead to us just having a little bit more the next few weeks leading into Fastlane and Johnny Gargano in his hometown. On a pay per view. Hmm. Mm. Now, I, now when Sasha and Bailey were out, and they mentioned they're willing to take on all comers, mm-hmm. Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Mm-hmm. Space Pirates. Yeah, about to say yeah, 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 yeah. Space Pirates. Space Pirates. <laughs> Space Pirates. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, like everyone was like, but how about the other way? Because remember. Cleveland also hometown of Miz, Miz, mm-hmm. Miz versus Johnny for the North American title. Oh man! I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there, uh, but wouldn't that be something? I thought you were gonna say Miz and Shane battle the Boston Hug connection. I just had a little flashback <laughs> there. 
uh, uh, we're being correct. Uh, Cars is reminding us oh. that they broke up after losing to AOP. He remembers because uh, Champa turn happened happened after he closed the network tab. Oh, <laughs> yes. So he was yeah, like, the fake, "What he, happened?" He got faked and out. Tina yeah. is correcting you, Sky Pirates. No. Sky Pirates. Sky yeah. Pirates. Sorry, uh, I was like, pirates. I was like, Space Pirates. I didn't. Okay, Space Pirates Tina? is a lot cooler name, by the way. But not, not only that, Tina, you have an advantage. It's eight thirty your time. Yeah, this is true. It's eleven thirty. <laughs> it's dark. It's very late. I'm very old. <laughs> very old. <laughs> Dude. What is this world? Well, this bizarre yeah. world where where Monday Night Raw ends at eight p.m. Um, geez, <laughs> local time. Like I, you think of, like they start at like five p.m. out there if they're if they're yeah. out live. So yeah, that would be nice. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you take a half day off work so you can go to uh to Monday Night Raw kids. Yeah. Uh but uh jeez. Uh it's a, it, it is a bizarro world. Um it's a, I, I, and I'm just getting into another thing, but I remember how weird it was to watch Raw on tape delay because that's how most general people do that. How are you guys watching Raw out there? Cuz I know you're like talking with us on here, but anyways. Watching Rod during dinner, that'd be fun. Space Pirates Probably is when the they internet. Space Pirates is when they team with Mustafa Ali. I was hoping it would be that they teamed up with Space Monkey. But also, side note, uh, I learned this weekend Space Monkey and Crazy Monkey, very different things, guys. You'll see what I mean. Uh <laughs> so Wow. So, looks- something to something to Google. Something to Google. Um, not with. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming search. private mode. Not I'm assuming mode. private mode. A pri- safe, no, search. Not safe, safe search. Safe search is off. It's it's death <laughs> match. It's death match. Crazy no, monkey okay. is a death match guy, um, and he's not. He does not have a tail, but I don't know. He may be losing pieces of himself. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> is he MDK affiliated? I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what that means, but I don't know what that means in context. Good, but they. He might be more. I think about it. Uh, <laughs> anyways, oh. uh, okay. Of course. Historic. Yes. One, one other thing I want to mention: Father of the Year, Kevin Owens. Oh, jeez, yes, man. Just oh, with what, his son, funny. with his son Owen Owens. Kevin yes. Owens just hanging out and being a dude, and his his yeah. basically his comeback is gonna his gimmick is gonna be world's greatest father. He's yes. gonna- He's gonna come back and murder somebody. <laughs> yeah. This is this is that. Uh, I think it might have been you, Dave, uh, who who said that. Uh, I want to like the way they're promoting this is like he is such a good person. Mm-hmm. He's such a great guy, and but when he comes back, he's going to murder somebody. I, I think. Like, it, it's, uh, it's, I it's, wish it's, I could take credit for it. That ha- that was someone else. I won't take credit for other someone else's idea, but that oh, is a damn. great idea. You, you think back. Maybe he's just going to come back and just just on a murderous spree against whoever his son's favorite wrestler is. Because that was John Cena. Basically, but, but but who's his favorite wrestler now? Right? Who's it? Like, Probably he, John Cena. He made man, mention of Becky Lynch, right? So like mm. he's gonna come back and be like, man, that Kofi Kingston is really over with my kid. He's gotta <laughs> go. Uh, really tired of Kofi and his <laughs> fake Jamaican stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, uh, which uh, that'd be amazing. Uh, first of all. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, can the team name Finn Balor and Ricochet uh, should be abs on abs from Alex Miller? Uh, he'll be back in time for KO Mania. Uh, yeah, that was great. Uh, you know, there was an image earlier, and uh, it was uh, Ricochet and Finn, I think, and uh, and 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 uh, Jen or Tina maybe were were saying that like that's the that's the match I didn't know I want. Um, there was some good stuff there. DIY uh, revival was great. Alistair Black I- and and. Uh, uh, not she low. Uh, Elias. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at some old IWC stuff today. No, uh, but <laughs> uh, it was it was really great. Um, man, it's. A I lot was of- really upset though. I didn't. We didn't get as much into uh, Ricochet versus Leo. Oh, I want that so much. I wanted. There I was, wanted more. There of There was the, enough the, of that to tease for me. Yeah, I, I wanted more of that. I, I, I want. I, well, which, which is good. Which is good. good. You want to, you know, it's not, we don't want I, to have, uh Yeah. <laughs> but, but then I realized we were having that match in Lafayette. Yeah. Oh. Which was just. Uh. What kind of town is Lafayette? I feel like this is not a big wrestling town. <laughs> and, and it's kind of, kind of, kind of confirmed tonight. <laughs> 
from <laughs> those reactions. Well, so, well, I mean, they, they, uh, to give them benefit of the doubt, it could be a big wrestling town. It could be a big WWE Raw town. It might not and, be a network town. Exactly. So it could be, oh, I'm here to see WWE people. You know, not who are these guys. What, a lot, what, what state is that in? Is that Louisiana? Louisiana, yeah. But Triple H, but Dad Triple H gave an introduction on every guy there, so they should know everybody, right? Triple H yeah. said everybody's awesome, and and, and yeah, they they had packages and everything, and mm-hmm. they're really trying to sell it up to them. Um, let's see, population one hundred twenty six thousand. Yeah, that seems about right. That seems smallish, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised they even mentioned the town. Yeah. <laughs> But normally, if you look at the smaller town, I mean, smaller as in not much smaller in Pittsburgh, Mm -hmm. they don't mention the town. Mm. They mention, like, the adjacent town. Yeah. They go, hey, this is next to Milwaukee or Green Bay. Hmm. Or I don't know why I picked, like, town. Well, I mean, mean, like Toledo. Well, like Toledo, they wouldn't mention Toledo. They'll say they're... You know, maybe Northwest Ohio or somewhere like that. Really? I've never noticed that before. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If you look at the, the smaller ones that don't have normally the professional sports teams, they don't put and they don't put the the pretty um package, <laughs> the pretty postcards together. Ah, the the nice, the nice I mean it's a it's a nice template. It's like picture of Houston, the word Houston, flash, flash, flash. Mm-hmm. It's it's better than like mm-hmm. this is our replacement for image outside the arena you know uh so, yes <laughs> yeah it, it, or when they come here they actually try to find a steel mill you know, this, this, <laughs> you're right right um here's a picture of the park here's some rivers there you go um here's a bridge i you know. i become so sad for for okay the accomplishment of doing monday night raw live as a production feat i'm i, I will go back to always impressed amazed that that's a thing that happens. But watching Mark Henry's special last night and seeing them do those vignettes and remembering like those vignettes and hearing Bruce Pritchard podcast talking about vignettes over, you know, you know, however long I listened to the last show, you know, how much they put into those spots and how those never happen anymore. You never see and you know, I think we've talked about like a few times, you know, I'm really happy when that does happen. The few times with like Braun Strowman at some point where he like chased Kevin Owens off and, and they ended up away from the arena maybe. But like, I just, there's, there's that attention to detail and effort with that, the spot outside. Like, I feel like they're making things, they're streamlining things down for as much more money as they make now for Monday night raw, but they're doing less with more time. Hmm. No, I'm a, I'm a, I always thought if you were live in a studio, and I was going to say in studio, because that's how they're treating the audience anymore. Yeah, yeah. But if you were a live audience and you have a 10 minute segment, you're going to get bored. But TV, are they thinking with recording and people fast forwarding through things where everyone used to watch? It was like, Vast, vast majority watching live we're in talking, back, we're talking, oh, back in the day. We're talking about the days where they're up against WCW. So if they're worried yeah. about you clicking away, you know, yet they've had yeah. you know, Mark Henry and China on a date, right? Um, and also, if, if we're talking like, well, if you have a package, will people click away? We just had the story of Brock Lesnar's life as told by Paul Heyman. Yeah. We had Paul Heyman in person to introduce Paul Heyman <laughs> telling us about how great Brock Lesnar is in a video package. What the hell are we doing? Um, it's it just, it just, I don't know that that, that that's bothering me as a production thing, right? You know. Meanwhile, you do have you, your impacts and and other other things like going out and doing those things and trying to add a little bit of color to the show that way, right? You, Sorg, you bring up a, a good point about production. Uh, I have, a, I, I think we, you probably mentioned this before, because this is like your thing. But please stop with the zooming. To WWE? Yes. Okay. Like every every move, every like bump they take, every kick, every punch doesn't need to have like an extreme close up and back up. Mm-hmm. Extreme close up and back up. It, it, it freaking it hurts. 
it hurts my head. Like this, this have it centered, have it, have it working properly. It still tells a story. It still like, it still shows that it hurts, but you don't have to like make the whole, make it feel like the entire room is shaking when it's not. There's um, there's two things that happen there. One, of course, they're trying to accent what's happening, right? Without these guys actually, you know, hauling off each other like like what we love about New Japan. Mm-hmm. Secondly, um, what I think it also does, and, and this is a trick I've used sometimes, and it, I would switch two moves and impact points to cover up if it, it maybe didn't look as on spot as, as it maybe it was. Um, that movement can also cover up. Oh, may maybe he didn't actually kick him in the face, right? Um, it, it, things like that. So, it, I I think it's a a technique to cover up that these guys aren't actually killing each other out there. Hmm. Again, versus like what you see on the indies, what you see on New Japan, where people are just like going to town on stuff like that, right? So it's one of those kind of protective things. Um, you, need, you mean Kevin Dunn needs to stop? No, actually, I wonder what's going on because I, you know, WWE production, man. You know, again, they do amazing stuff, but there's stuff is being missed, like, like just, like people, like I don't know if they have this new videographers that just don't know where everybody goes like they missed the round off on Alistair Black they're catching people selling and not like the person setting up for the next move like just like there's like wrestling logic that I expect from watching indies you know where there's very amateur cameramen you actually saw that in the pay-per-view yeah I'm about oh, to say, yeah. I was gonna that, say yeah that what? roll up and then the reversal of the roll up and you not even knowing the re- the reversal happened Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex just said the observer just reported that Sorgatron is exposing the business. <laughs> we should we should leave before Sorg gets arrested. And, 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 and I know I'm in, I'm I'm doing this, and you know who the fuck am I? I'm some dude shooting indie shows, right? But I mean, it is it is an observation. I went, and I'm not it's the only one. It's it's what yeah. you do. And 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 I look to WWE as the way to WWE. do it. I, I, I literally say to somebody holding a camera, I'm like, listen, man, look at the shot. Does that look like a shot you would see on TV on Monday night? Because that's what we're doing here, right? That's how wrestling is supposed to be shot. I mean, we can make our own uh, uh, artistic choices beyond that, but generally that's what people come to expect. If it doesn't look like that, then people don't want to watch whatever it is, right? Like, there's a re- like, like there's this is a whole other philosophy thing and it's probably a whole other podcast but anyways it's just uh, stuff that's been churning in my head and again there's people non-video people you know making comments like in our chat in our in our groups in our uh uh, twitters saying hey like royal rumble like hey was that not was was that a really bad produced show last night you know uh for something like the royal rumble right and and again also disclaimer matt carlin's also in the biz (laughs) professionally so um you know not so much the sports side but i mean he, he, he's done some of it um so i just i just some thoughts just some thoughts not to rail against wwe or anything but it just can some curious things um and some stuff that just i think i blame raven for for saying one thing one time to me what about uh, raven what about raven indeed <laughs> i'll explain that some other time anyways <laughs> on that point i think this was a good long discussion i know i ranted for a while guys we did <laughs> riz uh thank you mad yes. riz for joining us mad You're riz welcome. uh also mad potter with us as well yeah, thanks for having me on this is like the the only time raw is ever like <laughs> good mad mike decides not to come on yes yes because remember this was his choice not to come on Mm -hmm. this was his choice i i will i will count i will just mention mad mike had very important things to, to to take care of tonight okay that's all i can say he had to he had to go do some stuff okay okay for a very good reason and there's still no matter how good Raw was, it was still it was good. It was it, it, he's good. He'll good. I'm sure have opinions tomorrow good. night. Uh, good. <laughs> it's not like he won't get a chance to watch this. So, 
Uh, tomorrow and, we... And also, who knows who's going to show up on SmackDown tomorrow. Yes. That's true. Yes. Velveteen Dream. Dream. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have at least two people that were not featured from that halftime heat, so... Oh, who is the other one? Baby. 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 Yeah. Dave Potters with the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Go look it up on your podcast machine. Most definitely. Thanks so much. That's Tiny Shutter. It's about iPhone photography. We'll yep. see you and we talk and we try to be as inclusive to our Android brethren. There you uh, go. <laughs> but, but everyone on the show does have an iPhone. So uh, it's as uh, always, well, hey, we all have our choices, but a, a lot of us started back before androids got better with their cameras back when they were crappy and we just kind of went for that there is uh, there is somebody that does their uh, pre-show with an android phone that is not up to snuff and it bothers me every month and oh. i told them you I, I just straight up say you need an iphone so there's no question uh so when we're doing phone production that's kind of where <laughs> i go with that i mean it's a hard yeah. line and i know i'm not correct all the time on that for but for the most part if you're Productive. some dude yeah. at a wrestling show, I'm guessing you didn't get a top of the line Samsung phone. Is my thought, is my guess, yeah. um, my educated uh, guess and opinion. Um, also, Riz plays games on your Twitch, on your Twitter, on your uh, Facebook yes. as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my head up now because yes. my into my, the shot. Com- my camera decides to like fall back now since I don't have anything to hold it with. Um, but yeah, Riz plays games. I do play video games on there sometimes. Sometimes. Either that, either that, or you'll find me on the uh, the the chicken Twitch stream, which is... I get notifications for the chicken Twitch stream. It's just yeah. chickens in a pen uh, uh, at feeding time, and you can donate money to feed them. And it's just the, the uh, great. Thing. Have you seen what happens when the when the donations happen? To work. Well, somebody do- like Chilla donated on Awesome Cast, and and then we waited, and, and I don't think we got it, but like it popped up and everything, like like that happens. But, but anyways, the chickens normally go crazy for that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> chickens be going crazy for that shit. Um, this week we have the uh, Pit Fight Friends. They're they're in the the big Pit Fight show on uh, the Gre- uh, Penn State Greensburg campus uh, in in the coming weeks. Pit Greensburg. Pit. I'm Not sorry. Penn State. Pit, yeah, uh, Pit University Pit. Greensburg. <laughs> Uh, big charity event for Connors Cure. So we're going to have a couple guys on for that that will be participating in the show. Next week, we'll have um, the manager, the foreman of the Rail 8 tournament winners, um, Ronnie Starks. You can see some images and gifts of that, and that will be coming up on Black Diamond's uh, Royal 8, uh, coming up on the uh, Indie Wrestling Network this week. And uh, we also just signed signed <laughs> we just announced we just uh, confirmed tonight matt light comedian matt light and also um from the uh bar uh, bar uh, bar f- oh jeez i'm gonna get this wrong wow. uh bar Ooh. bar fight no not uh, bar wrestling a, no it was a boxing event bar boxing i think it was um from the 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 bar the, the barstool comedy things i'll get all this to correct for promotions before he gets on the show he'll be no- joining us the second week in march as well he has uh, been involved with a bit of controversy as he usually does he's the iron city heel matt light um go go look him up i'm sure it's at the top of your google feed what he got into on pay-per-view in the past month in that uh what you say? no it's wherever royal rumble was i think i don't know anyways i don't know he gets around man he gets around the stuff with black for, it was for bar, barstool correct barstool, barstool. Thank, barstool. thank you thank you jeez i'm screwing that up <laughs> oh boy <laughs> yeah comedian matt light who is actually going to be here this time i'm going to tell him to warm up his knock knock jokes yes hmm. sorry sorry uh reaper matt connard uh <laughs> hey sorg yes Sorg. one thing that i want to mention two two things real quick um one more thing i want to plug is my twitter prof pod okay if you don't mind it and for riz because Riz is doing the half marathon again in Pittsburgh uh, again. for charity. Again, for charity. <gasps> because, you, you know, top, top guys. Top guys. Top guys. Clink. 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 They just clinked over. <laughs> <laughs> he just his money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going on the Instagram. <laughs> now, I, now I have to fix my camera now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's fun are you saying? 
Ah, there we go. There there you go. go. Oh, there we go. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold it now. I'm gonna hold it now. Audio. Whoa, a little, a little WWE a little action there. A little WWE action there with the I'm camera. <laughs> gonna hold it now. Uh, but yeah, like what Ponder said, uh, I am doing this for charity again. Uh, it is for the Alzheimer's awareness. Uh, go to the Riz on my Twit on my Twitter. Uh, the the pin tweet on there is my donation link. I have a minimum of five hundred dollars to make to meet before May. I think before the end of May. Uh, so yeah, just go there, donate as much as you can. It's for all for a good cause and to see me nearly pass out at the finish line. Sounds good to me. <laughs> all this, right. this is so awkward right now. <laughs> okay, so we can let that go. Thank there, you, everybody, for there. being a part of the yeah, wrap up here. Our yeah. Monday night tradition. He's still, he's still dealing with stuff over there. I no, I know. I'm just holding it. Right. We're just letting go. It's wall. okay. We're, you're done with the camera. It's okay. Just drop it. Just drop it. You're fine. Uh, gently, gently, gently lay it down. Gently lay it down no, it's gone. properly. It's gone. It's, uh, it's gone. You see it now. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us on the wrap up. And uh, please subscribe to the WMS Master Feed, Super Feed, uh, on your podcast place so you never miss an episode of this or whatever random wrestling stuff we have going on. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it wrapped up. Wait, top guys. Wait, wait, what? Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.